Okay, guys. Here's the ET experience, but not with my ETs. It was a weird experience. I'm going to tell you. Maybe two. And really short. So, I'm at the coffee shop working, and I get done. Or I ain't even working that day. And I go down the river, and then uh, I go for a walk down the river, riverside. And this is just when they ripped up the train train tracks down on the shore. They ripped it up so it was all gravel and grease and grime and PCBs and toxic chemicals. It was just like a wasteland of gore. All right, Industrial waste from a hundred years of railroad, railroad crap. <coughs> Which they covered all up with nice happy grass. But basically it's a toxic shithole and you'll probably die if you actually touch the dirt. But you know how cities cover everything up. Just thought I'd throw that in there. So your beautiful little park is actually a toxic waste dump. <laughs> anyway, I'm walking down it. I'm walking down the road. I'm walking. I'm, I'm just going for a walk with my dog, I think. I don't know if I have my dog or not. I don't think so. I was just going for a walk. And I'm walking. I'm just, you know, daydreaming and walking. And then, uh, I'm about halfway down. About a mile down there, and all of a sudden, I I just look up. And I look up at the sky. I didn't feel nothing. I just look, and I see a hole in the sky with four guys standing and looking down at the hole. And there was two prominent ones and two in the behind. Two prominent ones. And this is what they look like. They're all big, tall, big and tall, and they all have white, and they had bald heads. I couldn't really see any features, but it was bald. They had nothing else on them. They were all white, like white robes, real tall and skinny. And there's four of them stand, looking in this hole. Two of them were talking. The two main ones up front and center were talking. The other ones were behind, behind them looking down also sort of like listening to what they were saying and I'm looking at them I'm just standing there I, and I'm in like an open you know quasi field in a park no trees around I'm totally wide open I'm standing there I stopped and I'm just standing there looking now to put in a perception of what I'm seeing my eyeballs are open okay my eyeballs are open I'm physically seeing them And the spot, it wasn't massive big. It was a few meters big, I think. I could see from about the knee level, knees, to about a foot over their head. And it, went, it was a circle like that, okay? And it was, I don't know what color it was behind them. I think it was like a darker blue. It was a blue, but... It, wasn't the same blue as the sky because it was a blue sky or maybe it wasn't even blue maybe it was like a darker black color anyway and th that's what I noticed why I noticed whatever the contrast color was between the white guys in the background that I seen them I had prominently seen the the white of the figures and they were about well Fifty stories high, fifty, sixty stories high. High is a Renaissance Center, whatever. I don't know. They're up there, and they're about, prospectively speaking, about my finger like that, about that big, in the sky, in a little hole. And I'm looking at them. My eyeballs are open. My perspective. I've seen them. And I, I'm looking. I'm like, what, what? I'm like, am I losing my fucking shit? Why am I seeing this? Am I seeing this spiritually? But my eyes are open. Because I'm a spiritual guy. I know that. I know how to hook up and do all the ETs. I went to Andromeda Galaxy just a while ago. Are they looking at me? They didn't look. They didn't. 
they were talking, like they were looking at Windsor planning something. Well, this is blah, 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 we got to move these buildings. That's the type of thing that I felt they were talking about. Because they're just conversing, looking at the city, Detroit and Windsor. They're facing west. And I'm just a little dot. From their perspective, I'd be a little dot in the gravel, right? And then, so I'm sitting there, I'm still looking at them. I don't know. They're talking. Two guys behind are just standing there. The two main guys are talking, looking at each other, talking about the stuff they're saying, I guess. I don't know, I'm assuming. And um, finally I go, well, I got to do something. So what I did was I relaxed. I opened my heart like I do with the ETs because I just learned that. I opened my heart and I reached out with my spirit hands, okay? I reached out with my spirit hands and I reached out right towards them. And I went, hey, you guys, like from my heart. I screamed it from my heart. I, I just willed it. Hey, you guys. And all of a sudden, they're going, blah, 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 blah. And they went, they stopped. They went, like that. And then a the guy went, and he waved his hand. And the hole went away. And they all went away. It was just normal. As soon as he waved his hand like that, everything was gone. And I'm like, oh. That happened, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I know this shit happens to you guys out there. Maybe not yet, but it will one day. And you'll be just like me. The only difference is people have these experiences, but they won't talk about it. Because they won't admit it to themselves. They won't admit it to the public. But everybody has these experiences. I don't give a shit. I know they do. I know it. And if it hasn't happened to you yet, something like this is going to happen one day. And you'll, you'll see time to go to the mental ward all right but I broke through all them boundaries man I'm done with that so that's why I can talk to you I don't care really I don't this stuff happens so much you can't even believe it but to get back on with this little story this was a cool little experience what was happening I can only relate it to the experience I had spiritual experience and meditation I had where I asked about alternate dimensions, alternate alternate realities, dimensions. I, I couldn't understand that. I asked, I go, man, it'd be cool to know, understand if that was real. That'd be cool to understand if that was real. Then I went to bed and I was meditating and I had a crazy experience with a dimensional porthole and I looked down and saw aliens in another city. That's in another video. I don't think it's in the UFO lineup playlist maybe in the spiritual experiences playlist I don't know but it was really awesome really awesome it taught me a lot my feeling is it was like that they were doing what I experienced they were doing it but they were masters at it they knew how to do control all this stuff right the fucking dude just waved his hand and was all gone they both looked at me they both reacted like oh, oh he saw us and it was gone. Where I had to do, I had to wash this box open up and the light come out and then the light turned into a doorway and I looked in the doorway and there it was and I screamed down at the aliens and they reacted and ran away. And from their perspective, I was a big head looking through a hole in the sky. But this experience was reversed. Who they are, who they are, what they were, they could have been spiritual people in heaven. Who knows? Alternate dimension people. Aliens in this reality. Maybe they're looking out the portal of their spaceship, which opened up a portal. And I have no clue. All I can tell you is what I told you here. I saw them with my eyeballs. I was staring right at them. And spoke to them spiritually. Reached out to them. Tuned into them. And screamed out spiritually. They heard that in the spirit. So they're one with the spirit. If they're physical, I have no clue. They look physical. They're small. They're way up there. But I'm looking right at them. And that's what happened, man. So we got a long way to go to get to that point, don't we? <laughs> that's awesome. At least you know we got a future and many lives to come of good things. But awesome stuff. Awesome stuff.
Now that was uh, that was that experience. Okay, here's another experience. This happened a little while later or earlier. I can't remember. It's all blur. But in this same time frame, it was another day off. I wasn't working. I'm in the coffee shop having a coffee or whatever. It's, I think it was Sunday. I wasn't working. And uh, I I get up and I'm going down to the river to get park just for the hell of it. For something to do. Kill some time, you know. See if my buddies are down there. So I'm walking and I get get down to university about a block and then I get on the next block, and as I'm walking down the next block, I can feel ETs all of a sudden, bam, hitting me. And uh, it was pretty powerful. And I'm like, just like out of nowhere. And I stopped, and I'm looking in the sky where it's coming from, right above, almost right above me, right there, right there. And uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. They're staring at me, but I don't see a goddamn thing. It's a perfectly blue sky. I don't see nothing in the sky. There's nothing there, but that's right there, and I'm feeling it. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna open my heart, reach out, and reach in to whoever's beaming me. Okay. Now I already did this with the remote viewer guy with those three alien or the four aliens. Staring at me, sky. I've done this with the ETs. I've done this with people, so I know what I'm doing. I've done it hundreds of times, reaching out and connecting with another entity or person in the physical, spiritually. So the ETs are in the sky. I'm thinking it's my ETs, but it felt different, and that made me question it. Maybe that's why I reached out to find out what the hell's going on. And I'm always afraid I'm going to get some bad ETs, right? Better than the ones I've been dealing with, which which aren't bad. It was just my fear that told me they were bad. I watched my past videos, so I'm feeling it. I check out. I open my heart and I reach out with my hands, my spirit hands, like that, and I zoom right into the feeling. And I go up and down, up and down, up and down, and all of a sudden I see the ET. I reach him, grab his chest put my hands on his chest like that and as soon as I do that his his inner leg goes whoop pops out just automatically as soon as I do that I'm tuning into his inner light I tune into his inner light his inner light tunes into my light and we kiss Mwah! just like that and it's a spark and you can actually taste the sparkle it's weird man and if you do a meditation and you reach out and touch and, and connect with the spark it's like a kiss so anyway, that happens, and I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, it's going to blow your mind. It blew me away. As soon as I connected with his heart, and we kissed, he's standing there, and he was a little, and I got, I got a download. And uh, real fast, it's like he already had the information. He already had the information all set up. Of what he was doing waiting for something like this as soon as I hooked up to him he's a little short guy he had like a robe on like a grayish robe why does everybody wear robes Fuck. grab a leaf shirt I mean really Come on. I don't know maybe he didn't have a robe I, I, I looks like he looked like he like a Yoda but without the Yoda face he was like a little alien and he was really old, okay? He was really old. He had a big head. He had the eyes. He, it wasn't my guys. And he had more of a grayish color skin. And it wasn't no grays. It was no evil intent. He, he's like, he goes, as soon as I hooked up to him, the whole download I got off of his spirit was, I'm just here to spread peace and love. And greetings sort of thing to all you people down here and that's what he was saying not to just me but to everybody that was feeling him and I couldn't understand why would you do that right 
why would he why would he do that like why would you come across hover over a city and just send love open your heart and greetings and hello fellow humans okay that was the whole experience I came back and he was a little guy oh and I got he was called he was a Zeta Reticuli Rosetta Reticulum you know the ETs at Betty and Barney Hill that was one of them and I don't know why I saw him on a gray I don't know sort of like a more white than gray robe or and it's like fluffy I don't know not fluffy a thicker fabric Anyway, he had wrinkles, and he and he felt like a grandpa, like a grandpa hugging you, giving you you know love, and just like Christ, Christ he feels the same way. Christ feels the same way as this guy, to me anyway. And so that was it. I got a kiss. I got the download. That he's that every ticket. I can actually see the ship. I don't remember it. Just a quick second. Um, it was him, and he was like a million fucking years old or something. A real, a lot, hell of a lot older. Like a really wise old guy. And he was just standing in the ship, cloaked, as always, sending love down, right? And I'm like, why would they do that? And then I'm getting my answers over time, over this experience. And the thing was, and I got, I've had experiences where this has happened to me personally in my life but I have to get to them yet the ETs what they do is they'll come over let's say your town in an area and it's daytime lunchtime you got a hundred people running around they send out the love they open their hearts and send out the God vibe the greetings hello my fellow universal people and they'll sit there and wait and the one who stops in the middle of the street and goes and does what I did that's what they're waiting for that's what he was doing I think also I think subconsciously on a spiritual level though he came down and he was spreading out all the love which is affecting all the souls regardless okay he was affecting all the souls regardless if they knew it or not in their egos okay so from what I could see I was the only one who stopped and looked up because I felt it and I, I knew like because I had so much fucking training with my ETs about feeling them when this guy did it another race different species it was that a reticula guy I felt the same thing but it was a different feeling but he was doing the same thing my ETs do but he was a different race and he was sending out a piece of love to all the people, sort of like showering all the people with spirit love to see who, either to see who respond or just to enlighten everyone on a spiritual level, even if they didn't know it or not. Maybe there was another reason why he was doing that, sending down a spiritual vibe. I don't know. But that was the two only things that made sense to me. From my experience, it was just. It was an awesome experience. I got to meet a new race that looked just as ugly as my guys, and they're the same type of love. It felt like Christ. It was weird, man. It was really weird. And I didn't see a goddamn thing. Actually, people were like, Are you all right? Why are you staring in the sky like that? Because I was just standing there in the middle of the street. Not in the middle of the street, in the middle of the sidewalk. And people are walking by me going, What the fuck is wrong with this guy? You know, I don't care. I have an awesome experience. I go, yeah. If you only knew what I was seeing, what was going on, <laughs> you wouldn't even believe me. <laughs> and upcoming in the more years to come, I've had more experiences where people around me react. Good and bad. Not so much bad. I had one bad people react spiritually and physically by the ETs that come and I got to see it firsthand in the physical of people reacting how it works okay but that's another video
So I'm going to upload these two and think of some more I can make. Okay. Later, guys.